What's going on guys? This is Diego Tegi Life and today we have a small repair. It's for the P0325. This is for the K24. Uh, this is a Honda CRV here. Um, so yeah, anyways, I keep getting that P0325 about the bank, uh, knock sensor one, something like something. Uh, basically, it, it goes intermittently. Um, and then when it does kick in, it actually like how do I explain this? Uh, the shifting, it, whenever it shifts gears, it, it, it kind of, it's, there's not like full power. It, it's just weird. It kind of slingshots me. Whenever it's about to switch gears, it, the, the engine feels like it's slingshotting. So anyways, um, I do know that on these Hondas, um, they're notorious for the 0325s because of the knock sensor. Um, and I'm thinking I've already replaced that sensor a while back, you know, still didn't go away So I, I thought today would be a perfect day to go ahead and replace this wire. So for the K24 series We're gonna have Say hi, hi. My daughter there. So the K24 series um, We're gonna be looking at that very last harness here. So this is behind it. The, the dash here uh, I took it off by Moving these, these uh, clips right here. Anyways, uh, you remove those. Sorry, you remove those clips there. Um, I basically removed all of them, and the very last one here, which is the this gray one, you're gonna look for that red and blue wire. It's at the corner. Uh, I went ahead and uh, ran a wire there. And I spliced into that. I cut it off, and basically I, I shot it through the firewall using a hanger. Uh, I've got a hanger and twisted the, the end and I taped it through. So it's going straight behind there in the back, the firewall. And I ran it this way, basically going above. I need to cut those zip ties. And then I drop down right here. So once I drop down, I went ahead and Ran it back up here. Where's it at? Right here. That black wire. And then finally, I hit the knock sensor. This is very hard to see. There it is, right there. Tapped it in there. So, the very last thing that you need to do now is just basically um, reset your ECU. Oh, sorry. Basically reset your ECU, and that's I'm just gonna remove the negative terminal here because um, I need to tighten it down anyway. So once you remove the ECU, it basically uh, clears out the codes. Um, now remember that whenever you remove the battery, if you have the factory stock radio like me, you're gonna have to need the code for that uh, to unlock the battery again. So. Yeah, so all you have to do is connect it back up again, and then your code should be clear, and you should be able to drive on. Now, if it keeps coming up, then you probably have a bad sensor. Um, but other than that, I mean, this is a pretty cheap fix. Uh, like I said, I've already tried replacing that sensor because it wasn't that expensive at first, but it's getting annoying now, and I would like to get rid of that. Check in. So if y'all learned anything, just please let me know. Give me a comment. Hit like or subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.